I was having a debate with some of my family the other day and they were talking about macular degeneration and I was sort of saying to people that no, I don't think it's, you know, more screen time and these sorts of things because it's, it started picking up much earlier than there were fluorescent lights and screens. And so they were blaming the more modern influences, like people are being on their phones too much and that we have too much bright light as the reason for the increase in macular degeneration. Um, so I wanted to know what uh, your thoughts on that were. What are the causes? Yeah, so absolutely not a, a thought a, a minuscule thought in my mind that it's caused by screen time. Zero, zero inclination to think that that there's any truth to that. Um, if you know, if any of your listeners are are interested truly about macular degeneration and the the causes and how to prevent it or halt the progression if you currently have it, um, put in your your show notes. Um, cureamd.org. So it's C-U-R-E-A-M-D.org. And Dr. Chris Kenobi just has an incredible website and he's done, you know, he pretty much has done like eight years of research and is he is 100% sure as I, I also feel that that's my opinion too, 100% sure that it all it comes down to our, our diet, the food we eat, and that in 1900, macular degeneration was like rare, like one in thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Now it's one in three for people over 80. Wow. And one in 11 in people over 50. I mean, it's huge. And what has changed? And he, he lays it all out in that website. He's got some great embedded um, videos you can click on and, and actually look at the science and the studies and showing that Procter & Gamble pretty much came out with trans fats in 1911. Um, and, you know, prior, prior to that, there was it was rare. Heart disease was extremely rare and macular degeneration. There was like a couple cases and now it's like exploded. And it, it has to do with, with processed foods and all of the seed oils, canola oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, you know, all, all pretty much I tell people, don't put a, a speck of oil in your body, avoid it like the plague and you will, you will prevent um, macular degeneration. So oh, that's it, good to hear. Yeah. So, um, and, and there's 20,000 people every day diagnosed with macular degeneration. I mean, it's, it's, it's really at epidemic levels. And I was wrong. It was one in three people over the age of 75, not over the age of 80, one in three over 75 have a diagnosis of macular degeneration. It's, it's, I mean, when you think about that, that's, that's crazy numbers. 